Okay guys, so as you can tell from the title, today we are going to do a decorative kind of Valentine's Day hair bow. This is going to be a big, poofy kind of southern hair bow. We're going to add some hearts to it and yeah. So before we get started, if you are new and you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe right now. Make sure you like this video, comment and share and let's get into the video. Okay, so I have my glue gun on the side just in case I need it as well. I will need my iron, so I do have that. I have a lighter to secure the ends of my bow as well as another piece of ribbon for the center. I have thread because I like to sew mine and I am missing it, but an alligator clip. So the first thing we are going to do is take our ribbon. Now I took mine and I actually sprayed it with the stiffener. Um, excuse the bottle. It's called Stiffen Stuff but it's for fabric and yeah it's for fabric stiffening but this is kind of what you would use if you're like um, doing hair bows that you want to stay in one place you know what I mean and not be all floppy because this big ribbon is very floppy. <clears throat> so what I've done here is I've kind of twisted it a little bit because I want my little fishtails to be um, on the opposite end. So I don't want, or not really fishtails, but kind of diagonal slant here. So as you can see now, they're opposite. So what I'm going to do is secure the ends. And sorry about my loud computer uh, in the back. Something's running and I don't understand why it's doing that. But this is just to make sure the ends don't fray. Because even though it's grow grain and it's very firm, it still frays when you cut it. So just secure the ends like so. Please be careful because the lighter is hot. Okay, so I have these hearts here that I made on my silhouette. And if you don't know how to use Silhouette, I will leave the link to several of my videos that I've created. But we are going to be placing these hearts onto our ribbon. Now this says Be Mine. You can't really see it. I kind of screwed that up. But it does say, say Be Mine. And this is going to be at on the ends of one of the ribbons. So I made a crease for the middle. So as far as that goes, I am going to not put any hearts here but make sure that they're on each of each side of the ribbon if that makes sense so what I'm going to do is start to cut and just start placing the hearts all over okay so now we're ready to make the bow and I have my center here, but it may not all go in the center. So what you're going to do is take one end. And you're going to kind of twist it in like that. Show you again. You're going to take this in, twist it in. Like that. So now we're going to come around with the other side. And I just eyeball this, guys. I really do, to be honest. So now we're holding it, and it looks like this. So then you have this piece hanging over here, and you're just going to go behind right there. And at this point, if it's looking too big, it's looking like it's not the way you want it, you can adjust it, but make sure you're holding on to it so you don't lose... Um, your place for the other things and then we're going to bring this one in like this it can be a little tricky with these bigger bows now normally what I do is if everything looks right to me and our design is going to be on this side so don't worry I got all this taken care of so now you can either freehand this or use your sewing needle and take it and go through but if you're freehanding and you're not sewing you're just going to bend this in and bend that in 
and that is a very very tricky part guys very tricky very annoying so once I get this all done I'm going to turn my bow on this side so I hope you guys saw that okay so this is going to be a really tricky part trying to get the uh, needle through here because it's really really thick so I'm going to try my best to do this without running the integrity of what I got going on here. Sometimes I just take it and push it down on the table and try to watch out and make sure I don't get stabbed. There we go. Needle through. So then what I like to do is just keep pushing and then come around a couple times with the thread. Now make sure you're holding on to this securely. Um, like I said, if you have some of those big clips, now would be a time to use those um, like large hair clips is what you would use to try to help you um, stabilize it while you're trying to either sew or glue it. So now that I'm looking, before I pull things really tight, I'm going to make sure everything looks right for me. And so far, so good. I'm telling you guys, this large scale um, ribbon can be a nightmare. So this is pretty good for me right now. Now what I'm going to do is take my needle and go through the center. And you'll see why in a minute. And it may loosen up, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. When you pull it, you can tighten it back up. Just like this. See? Okay, so now why I have that like that, I am going to actually put down my alligator clip. That's why I went through the center. So I'm going to just take it and open it and put it through just the one side. So I am actually going to glue this down too, but for right now, So I'm just going to leave this here for right now. And that's pretty tight. So I'm happy. So now I'm going to take my little glue gun here. Open this up. And just kind of glue down this one piece. I like to put my finger there. That way this the top um, clip the top part of the clip doesn't stick to the hot glue because then it'll be pointless and you won't be able to put it on your child. Okay, so that, that's good for me. That's pretty secure. So now we are going to go to the final step. I'm just going to put a little hot glue on there just to keep the thread from unraveling. I'm gonna take your little strip here that we have for the center, tie it in a knot, or if you don't want the knot, you could just put it through the center. I kinda like a little bit of a bigger knot. So I'm actually just going to glue this down. There we go. And 
And like I said, once I'm done, we'll fluff it all back up to make it look really pretty. Right now it's kind of flat looking. And that's only because we're still working on it. So again, when I'm doing this, I like to make sure everything looks the way I want it to look. And it does. So now what I'm going to do is open, open this back up and glue this down. And you can also sew this, guys, if you want, but I'm gluing it. excess off and I know I just sealed the end but I can seal it again. Okay and then bring the other side around. So before I bring that side around I'm actually going to cut this down some seal the end. I'm going to open our clip back up, put some hot glue down, and stick this down in there. And be careful, I don't know how many times I've burned myself with hot glue, guys. So that's nice and secure. So we are going to do our final step, and that's put this big part on so I'm just going to iron this on right here at the tip I'm going to spin these up a little so I'm not ironing those So now we can fluff this thing out <clears throat> a little bit more. You can also, if you want it to be stiffer, you can go ahead and spray it again. Um, I think I've seen a video one time where people actually use starch. It's grow grain ribbon. It's kind of like a fabric. So I guess starch would work on something like this. So there is our cute little giant kind of southern Valentine's Day hair bow. I hope you liked this video guys. I just wanted to do one last um, Valentine's Day thing before I start getting into my other tutorials. But if you like this video guys, please give me a big old thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Also, I do vlogs. So if you would be so kind as to subscribe to my vlog channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Again, sorry about the noise for my loud computer in the background. I have to figure out what's running and what's causing it to be so loud. But anyway, that's here nor there. We're talking about this beautiful hair bow. I love working with glitter vinyl, heat press vinyl. It is so pretty when it um you get it together on things it, and the bow looks absolutely stunning. Autumn is going to love it. I did make her one yesterday that's kind of similar. It has hearts on it but it was a different pattern. And again, I made this in my silhouette with the hearts. I did those in my silhouette and just printed them off with the heat transfer vinyl, glitter vinyl. If you have any questions about where I get my vinyl, where I purchase my ribbon, or anything of that nature, please don't be afraid to ask me. Just leave your comments down below or you can send me a direct message on Instagram. I would gladly answer any questions that you may have. If there is something that you want to know how to make or you want to see me make, don't hesitate to ask me that as well. 
I have gotten um, comments and I have done requests before so um, if there's something you'd like to see that's not already done in um, my playlist just go ahead and ask me I would be more than willing to um, do that kind of tutorial for you whether it's sewing whether it's hair bows or some kind of uh, DIY for your home or DIY for yourself just let me know and we will get to making that and until next time guys bye